Black Hills Faces magazine has been sharing the in-depth stories of area residents since it was founded more than a decade ago. And as the community adjusts to life during the pandemic, the magazine is adjusting too, and they're asking for your participation. So what are they doing and how can you be part of it? We find the answers along the way right here in Rapid City. Black Hills Faces was started about a dozen years ago by two local sisters, Beth and Ann Swisher. It's known for its bold, strong covers, featuring a local face or two and one word, just five big letters shouting from the top of the cover, Faces. Highlight local people and just tell the incredible stories that people have to share about their lives and what they do and how they participate in our community. When the sisters retired a little more than a year ago, two local women, Jacqueline Lene and Kim Laith, became the owners. The quarterly magazine could perhaps pass as a coffee table book. The covers printed on thick, glossy paper and the pages inside almost just as thick. Local writers tell the stories of about four local people per issue. We tell stories about all kinds of different people. I mean, there's been 90-year-olds on the cover. There's been children on the cover. Since taking over, Lene and Laith have added an online edition as well. Normally, the printed copies are available for free at coffee shops, medical facilities, and other gathering places. But with the community being asked not to gather during the pandemic, Faces is adapting too. First, the summer issue will only be available online. Second, the format for this issue will change too. There's so many incredible things going on, so many inspiring people and um, people that are bringing hope and joy and security even to our community that we just want to be able to tell a lot more of those stories. So for the summer issue, instead of a few big stories, they want to share as many inspirational stories from the community as possible. So they're asking people to go to their website at blackhillsfaces.com, where they've created a place to submit a paragraph or two, and a picture, if they like, of people across the Black Hills doing good things despite a tough time. We just hope that, you know, it'll make people happy to see their neighbors or their teacher or their postman or the truck driver that brings them supplies that they've never even met. You know, we just, we want them to know how many people are out there doing good stuff. Uh, people that are making masks, people that are making art, people that are playing music outside of their homes to, you know, brighten the environment for their neighbors, all of that kind of stuff. We want to hear all of those wonderful stories. They want to shine a light on the folks doing good things, and they're inviting you to help. And when the summer issue is done, they hope their readers come away with this. Feeling closer to their community members, but also finding reasons to lift each other up and celebrate each other and come together instead of delineating along, you know, all of the available lines with which you can draw those <laughs> separations. We want to break down those barriers. Because this magazine is about faces in the community. And as the community faces this once in a century pandemic, their focus is good deeds being done, heroes large and small to be preserved with your help and remembered when this chapter ends. For more info about how to get involved, you can click on this story on our website, blackhillsfox.com. And if you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know. So that summer issue is expected to be available online only in about early June. Awesome. And so kind of what I noticed from that package is they're not just recognizing people that are doing, you know, huge heroic deeds or anything like that. All it really takes is just kind of like a simple act of kindness. You are absolutely right. There's a, a forum on the magazine website. It's an easy way to honor, say, a, a neighbor, a friend, or even a stranger and bring some positivity to the pandemic era. That's awesome. Coming up.